Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution here to discuss another example on the quotient rule for derivatives. And now look at an example where I show that basically you could simplify the function to avoid having to use the, the quotient rule at all. Basically, before I get to that, I just want to quickly recap on the quotient rule if f and g are both differentiable, meaning the derivative exists uh, at any specific uh, interval you're looking at. Basically, if you have y equals fx divided by g of x, then the derivative is basically the derivative of f of x uh, times g of x minus fx times derivative of g of x, all divided by g of x squared, or written down like this, y prime equals f prime times g minus f times g prime all divided by g squared. Now this is the example I want to go over. Basically y equals uh, 3x squared plus 2 times square root of x all divided by x. So as you can see you could apply the derivative, I mean the quotient rule because there's a, it's a quotient or a division right here uh, with two functions top and bottom but you could simplify it to make it much easier. First I'll simplify then I'll do the quotient rule to show you how much harder it is because right now you could just divide both of these sides by x and you could write this one out as 3x because x squared divided by x is that and then plus well 2 times it by uh, now this is now number square root of x is just equals to x 1 over 2 and then when you have something like uh, x 1 over 2 divided by x you would just subtract the powers you see more of this in the uh, power functions and their properties video in the video link below as well as proof for this quotient rule. So basically if you have something like this, this is considered this is x to the power of 1 or you could write it as 2 over 2 to have the same denominator uh, yeah, them, yeah, same common denominator on these ones and you could just subtract them. So it will be 1 over 2 minus 2 over 2 or and then yeah, if you, when you subtract, it just becomes ne x to the power of negative one over two, or one divided by square root of x. So we can just write down this right here for now. So we have this one, and then if we apply the derivative, it makes it so much easier. We don't need to do the quotient rule at, at all, and this will just be well, derivative of three. Let's write y y this one here. Just put it y. So if you take derivative of three x, that's just three. And then the root of this one using power rule, well, you put down the negative 2 of I mean, negative 1 over 2, so we'll have plus 2 times, well, negative 1 over 2, and then we subtract this one by 1, so we'll have x, negative 1 over 2 minus 1 is just going to be negative 3 over 2, because again, same thing, negative uh, minus 1 or minus uh, 2 over 2, so we'll have we'll have this. You can see more on this on the uh, power functions and their derivatives. So we have this. We just simplify a bit further. We could cancel these two out. We'll get 3 minus x to the 3 over 2. So this is our answer. So this was pretty straightforward. Just divided by it and then take derivative. But if you were to use quotient rule, I'll do that right now just to illustrate how much harder it is. Basically, we'll have y prime equals well the derivative of the top we consider this part as f and this part as g just do the same thing derivative of the top so 3x squared plus 2 square root of x so this will just be well uh, si yeah this will be put bring it two down so 2 times 3 so 6x that's derivative of 3x squared and now plus 2 times well the square uh, the derivative of square root of x I'll just write that down uh, just here by itself. Let's write it down here. So if we have square root of x, the derivative of it is just going to be, well, let's say the derivative of this one is going to be, well, again, we write it down as 1 over 2. So the, the derivative or d square root of x dx equals 2. Bring it down 1 over 2, and then x, and then subtract uh, this one by, by 2 over 2. So it's going to be negative 1 over 2. So this is the derivative of that that in bracket again. So this one's going to be plus uh, plus 2, yeah, plus 2 times the derivative of square root of x, that's this. So again, the 2's cancel, so we'll just be left with x negative 1 over 2. And now times it by the bottom, which is x, so this times it by x. And then we do subtraction, we just write down now 3x squared, we just write down the top, plus 2 square root of x. Actually, I'll just take the square root off, just put it 1 over 2 just to make it consistent with what we're working with. And now we just times it by the derivative at the bottom. That's going to be 1. The derivative of x is just going to be 1 right here. 
and then this is all divided by the bottom squared so x squared okay so now we just multiply the x inside of this one so we get over here as you see how complicated it is so this is going to be well x so we get 6 x squared and now this one's going to be an addition with the power rule so uh, x negative uh, 1 over 2 or x negative 1 over 2 times by x 2 over 2 that's the same thing as x to the power of 1 so we add these up this is going to be equal to x to the 1 over 2 so because there's a negative there so we get times it by a plus x 1 over 2 subtracted by now whatever this is 3x squared minus 2x to the power of 1 over 2 and this is again all divided by x squared so now we just divide by actually we'll simplify this top first so we're gonna get this 6x squared minus 3x squared 3x squared and now plus uh, x to the power of 1 over 2 or square root of x minus net 2 times uh, square root of x or x to the power of 1 over 2 so we just get this one's gonna be negative x one over two, and all divided by x squared. And now we can take divide both sides by x squared. So we get three three x squared divided by x squared. Let's write it down just to make it a bit more more clear. And now this is gonna be x. Uh, this is one over two divided by. I'll just write this down as four over two. Just to the same thing as x to the two. Just so that we have the same common denominator and we can subtract them. So we get here 3 and then minus x is 1 over 2 minus 4 over 2 is just going to be negative 3 over 2 right here. So this is our derivative and using the quotient rule we're going to get the same exact answer as this 3 minus x uh, to the power of negative 3 over 2 and there's 3 minus x to the power of negative 3 over 2 but it's much easier if you simplify first instead of later because you see all the work you just put into this one well anyways that's all for today if you learned from uh, this example and also you could download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below and yeah that's all for today if you learned and stay tuned for another math easy solution